Hey guys, this is the Captain Rex, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be beginning the Hotel of Dreams, which I know is some people's fan favorite build. Koda is back, probably over there somewhere. Uh, but first, got a few. Oh, here's Koda. Hello. Um, so we got a few more things with the Melting Snowman. Now, again, it's not that important, but in case you really, really want it, here they are. Um, and all their meltingness. Um, also. There was a piece of grass we had like here, very minor, but that uh, just should not be there. Then we got this one over here, and Core Fizzy's one, which I'm interested in what's going to happen with the rest of the terrain here, because that doesn't really look good. And then we got Williams up here. Now there's like this black wool or something on top, but I couldn't really get what that looked like, so it's just going to look like that for now. Um, he was like hopping all around the place. In the last video so he was also up on the tree train here which there are some corrections to what the leaves need to look like here and uh, these different ones here and then this one was need to be majorly fixed um, I don't really know what was going on there but uh, it looked a lot different than it should have uh, anyways of course the hotel is gonna go over here by the school so it kind of marked out where the pressure plate entrance is gonna go so if we go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then on the ninth, we're gonna put that, and this is just gonna get a stone uh, pressure plate, and then you're gonna leave five blocks, and then do that again. So what we're gonna do is get some glowstone. So in between this, there's gonna be glowstone, and then we're gonna bring two glowstone out on each side, and then this is the same for either side. So next, there's gonna be four diagonals, so one two three four like this and then we're gonna have a row of three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and this is only one block away from the other build so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay there we go let's just see oh this really helps with making sure so then we're just gonna do our four diagonals again one two three four and then we have our 11 um, over around here and it should link up there. So now we have a big circle where we are going to bring um, white wool around this. Let's see if I can pick block it there. We're gonna bring it up free high on the inside edge of the glowstone and this is gonna be all the way around. And then on top of this, we're gonna put a, a ring of glowstone top of this as well so i think this build probably gonna split up into two parts don't want to make it too overwhelming just in one video but uh, okay so we can bring our glowstone around this and then i think on some sides in the middle there's like a glowstone section it's on yeah it's on the little okay so it's on all sides except the front we need to find the middle uh let me just guess is it here Five on each side and we're just gonna bring a bit of glowstone up there to add some more light uh, looks like Cody's got that side so okay so we can break out the gaps for the doors and actually while we're doing that we can just come in here and break out all the floor which is gonna need to all be uh, white wool inside of here the lobby area here is very bland and what it looks like. Watch, Coda's gonna slash for it all. Yeah, look at all that banked redstone and stuff, Coda. You 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 missed out on some a lot of redstone and stuff, which did take a while. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we can start filling this in with white wool. Um, I'll let you fill that in, and I'm gonna put the doors. On here and I'll also put the sign for the hotel so the sign is just gonna go in the middle here it's gonna say hotel of dreams and then I think that's the third line then we're going one two three four five and I don't know it looks more space out than that. It might be two spaces. Let's 
to see if that fits. Yeah, there it is. Two spaces. Five stars. Okay, there we go. And there Coda goes speeding off. Still has that. Coda has not lost his flash powers. Um, anyways, what to do first? Well, we can put the pressure plates for these in here. Um, and then in these corner bits, there's going to be glowstone, like on these bits here to just, uh, add even more light. And yeah, those are in all the corners, it looks like. Um, okay. Wait, are they? No. They're only in the corners. They're not fully like that. I think it's just something with the wall back here. Okay, I think we should just get the desk out of the way. So we're just gonna bring a wall across right here and this is gonna kind of be the back um, area so you do that and then we can just add three uh, like this um, I guess we'll bring it right up to the roof and then we're gonna leave a gap of three and then there's gonna be five two three four five do you want to start kind of working on some of the stuff in the back area there Coda yeah and then we're gonna have iron door here with a a stone button like that and then in the back it's where all the keys are so we're just gonna need to put a bunch of dispensers with like uh, keys in them and then yeah where these walls are there's just glowstone down there and there uh, and yeah I'll I, I think I'll let you handle the keys maybe there's a glowstone on the back wall in here as well I don't know if that's supposed to be there uh, probably anyways that'll be when we get up stairs yeah so you want each color there that's the order of the colors and then buttons on those and then they just get filled in with a bunch of levers which we don't have to do right now but uh you kind of get the idea and there's nothing really else back there um, so if we leave three blocks from the door. This is the big pillar in the center So we're gonna make a plus sign and then glowstone on Each of these and then this is gonna go up a total of three blocks with our white and Then there's gonna be a layer of glowstone um, And then for the roof we can leave two blocks away from this let's just use grass so two blocks like this, and then our ring of glowstone, we're gonna have three, and then two diagonal, and then three again. So this is just the pattern that goes around here with our glowstone. And then the rest of this around here is just gonna be filled in with white wool for the roof. So yeah, we can begin doing that. And then the last thing to kind of do in this area is the part of the water elevator and then there's a couch also here in the lobby in case you want to sit and wait. Um, yeah, so this is probably the easiest out of the floors, I would say. So we'll finish filling this in. I'm guessing Coda is going to add the couch. He's over there in that area. I know. Well, the police station is just down the road there, so there can be a pretty quick response. Oh, did we forget the thing on that side? Yeah, it looks like we did. Okay, so inside here, and they go in the same place, we're going to need some... It's very hard couch made of quartz um so yeah it's gonna go over here and then we're just gonna make a and it, it's it's off centered which is also kind of annoying wall to forward what wall oh this one yeah, that is. Yeah, we gotta move this wall back one. And I think that means we gotta move this back one. Well, it's a good thing I got a helper. Yeah, we need to move this wall back one. 
Should be three blocks clearance back there, but that's not a big deal to uh, fix up. And then we can move this glowstone back here. Um, but then we gotta move this thing. Okay, let's just destroy it. Okay, so we wanna leave three blocks. Okay, let's add the door back in. And then we're gonna leave three blocks from the door and that's where the plus starts. And it should be, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks from over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good. And then we're just gonna have to readjust up here, which shouldn't be too bad. We want glowstone back down in these corners. Okay, so we had, yeah, we're just gonna need to move this back one. And then this will move forward one. Pretty easy fix. I'm glad we caught on to that though. Good job, Coda, there. Because that probably would have stayed like that forever. And then the whole pillar uh, would have been wrong. Which would not be good. Um, so we just want our two diagonals here. Yeah, you did three. It's only two diagonals. And there we go. Let's see, we got three on each side. This side's four. Well, that side's four too. Why is it? Oh, it is four there. Okay, four on each side rather. Um, so are these in the right places? Okay, we gotta move this over one. Yeah, so this is kind of what the uh, couch is gonna look like. We Do we got that in the same place over there? Um, yeah, we do. Okay, good. So then the, the last thing to do here is the uh, water elevator. So if we leave one block in the middle of this, or two blocks, uh, we're gonna put one there and add two to each side. And this is gonna be kind of like three deep. And it's gonna come in like this. Um, and then we're gonna have, so this is gonna come up here. We're gonna have like, two there and then this is gonna get filled in with glass um, and then we can I guess we can fill in the water and stuff in the end uh, we can just kind of build the structure though right now of it and then we're just gonna have a pressure plate there okay so that is the first level done so the next level we're just gonna need to bring up three layers of glass all the way around and then some glowstone and then it's just inside, it's a matter of doing all the details. But the outside is very, very simple in its design, which I think that's why some people like this build here. Uh, okay, so let's bring this up. And let's wrap it around here. And then we gotta put our layer of glowstone. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, and then let me see here if I come inside. Okay, so then we can bring our pillar up another three blocks. And then the glowstone and then we can also so in here um how should i explain this but in here at these inside walls we're gonna need some i think it's red and yellow yeah um so for facing the this so we can bring our water elevator up as well another three blocks and this is where we can do this pattern off of. Nice. Um, 
and then this is where also the uh, roof can be filled in and the roof is uh, white wool on every one so the right side here if you're looking over here is gonna be red so we can kind of bring red around this now I'm not really sure where the cutoff point is okay so there's white in the middle and then it changes to yellow over on this side okay so while code is filling that in let's head inside and it, yeah it's very hard to navigate this build okay so we're up top here so we just want to bring our uh, water elevator thing up and then we can just break out our door you know something's old when it has a water elevator um so i guess me and Kona can kind of split up i'll handle the yellow room if you want to do the uh red room so we're just gonna bring walls we're gonna leave two there and then bring walls like this watch Kona's gonna finish way before me i already know that's gonna happen so yeah this is where the iron door is gonna go now i'm just gonna leave the iron door until the end because as you know you gotta get the key from downstairs so I'm just going to have to uh, leave it open for now, but I need to get in on the reference. Okay. But on the inside, we have a stone pressure plate. Oh yeah, and then the wall in the back over here, I think it's just going to be bringing this across, is it? Yeah, it's just going to bring bringing it across where we had that and then the white also gets brought across uh, let me just do that first so it's like a triple thick wall when you couldn't have enough protection for a wall just make it triple thick okay so let's come over here so we have some things in this room so over here there is a cake and then there's some melon if I can find melon there we go and then there's a crafting table a furnace and a chest and watch the chest is just gonna have a bunch of stuff in it and then we can put our melon there oh no we don't have that chest okay that's gonna help me um, and then there's two melons there and then there's more glowstone Which is gonna go by the bed here and here and then the beds gonna go right in the middle uh, There and then there's this little kind of table and chairs. So yellow wool We're gonna need stone pressure plate Oak stair oak sign so we're gonna leave two blocks from here boom table another chair put the pressure plate on that and then put the signs on these and that is that room done quicker than i thought but uh let's put the iron door which you're never going to be able to get into over on this side like that and then let's just break that lever there so let's see did i beat coda oh yeah oh this is this room no wonder well i'll kind of check back what i'll start building up i guess okay so i'm gonna break this out yeah so we're just gonna bring it up again which is pretty simple to do we've already done it like twice so yeah, we're just bringing our glass up three layers all the way around here. Um, so yeah, let's bring this up here. And how many, how many more uh, floors are after this? Two more? So I guess after the purple and the blue floor, we'll call it a day for now. So I want to split this into two parts 
Um, and let's bring this up here. Whoa. Didn't teleport to you. Okay, I'll go check down with the uh, red room and show that off. Uh, down there. One. Okay, yeah, I remember. I gotta break down the door. Okay, yeah, so we have our pressure plate here, and then one block away we have some fences, the gate in the middle, and then we have these dispensers, which are pretty sure dispenses like the different crops and stuff. And then we have our buttons, and then there's a cauldron of water. And then over here is our red bed with like, so there's three fences here and then a gate in the middle. And yeah, I'm pretty sure like we don't have the animals for there. Uh, no. And there's no glowstone by that bed because there is some yellow one. I don't know, there's some inconsistency with the hotel here. Uh, but anyways, we can continue bringing that other layer up. So let me just break my way outside. Um, so then we can bring the pillar up here. And then just do that same thing with the uh, ring around the middle here. Yep, it looks like Coda is filling in the floor. Okay, let's see. So, we want purple on the right and blue on the left. So, we're going to bring our glass up. Um, like that. And then, yeah, then this is where the white's going to go on top. Or the glowstone, rather. It's going to go on top there. Wow, we're all building at once here. Uh, so purple on the right, we're going to bring up the three blocks. And then of course the middle is white. And then we're going to have blue on the left. And this is going by where the water elevator is. And then glowstone is going to go around the edge. So Coda has generously filled all that in. Well, just about. But um, we can just add in the walls. Coda, take your pick. Do you want blue or purple? Okay, Coda's going with blue. Steal my favorite color. Probably also your favorite color. I'm just guessing. I don't know. Um, so we can bring this up. Interesting, you didn't take the purple. Okay. Well, let's put the pressure plate there. Um, this actually, the pressure plate actually needs to go in there. Did I do it down there? Oh, there's no blocks in this one. Oh boy. Well, thanks for the heads up. Code is definitely gonna finish this one before me this time. Okay, so we do that. The door is two blocks away on this one there. There's also inconsistencies with the door. Like, I don't get that. Oh yeah, I see what's going on here. Now I'm not gonna tune all the note blocks and stuff because I'll be here forever. Um, but I'll add them in. Okay, so there is a button there. And then the button over here. And then we're gonna need a bunch of repeaters, note blocks, and redstone. So two redstone coming out of this button, and then we're gonna have six repeaters going this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two like that. This is just gonna link back up here, here, and then we're gonna have repeaters all going in here. And then we're just gonna do that with our note blocks. Oh, now in between, these ones, they are actually redstone lamps. Okay, so let's see. And why does that just never deactivate? Interesting. Wow. Well, it just does not, it's broken. I think you just have to stop the trail. Yeah. But uh, anyways, back over here, there is a juke box. And then, of course, we have the purple bed. Jukebox, purple bed, right there. There we go. 
That's that room complete. And then over on Coda's blue side, the door is in another spot there as well. Th th this place is starting to really annoy me with how inconsistent it is. So let's go over to the blue room. Let's break down the door. Uh, did I put a pressure plate in this room over here? No, I didn't. We definitely need uh, one of those. Or, oh. Oh, because there's a button and it affects redstone. I forgot. But over here, yeah, we got this. Then we have our little fountain of water. So this is one block here. And then five. And then we have two diagonals and two blocks down there. And you want to place the water there and there. And then we have our blue bed. The hotel is definitely more empty than I thought. I'm going to say that. So, that's about like the halfway point of the build here. So, I think this is where we're going to call it a day. So, yeah, in the next part, we are definitely going to finish this. Because, yeah, quite a bit done. It's, uh, it's looking pretty good. But, uh, anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Um, thank you, Coda, very much for joining me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.